Okay, so here it is in all its glory, my 2018 Focus ST. So I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, misfire and what you can do in order to try to track down what is causing the misfire. So first thing first, if you're actually worried about the car being possibly the motor being hurt or something along those lines, you can go and pick yourself up a little a little scope and you can send this down into the cylinders and scope it out yourself and check out and see if there's any cylinder damage if you figure out which cylinder is misfiring. Um, I got this on Amazon for like 50 bucks or something like that uh, and you can take a picture with it and then you know upload it onto your desktop or whatever and check it out. Um, so that's really useful if you're really trying to save some money and not go to the dealership and have them find out that your car is modified or whatever if you're worried about warranty and all those types of different situations. Um, so luckily for me, I had already done that in cylinder four because it runs from one to four. And this is number four, in case you were wondering. Um, so actually, I already replaced this coil pack and I had already replaced all the plugs uh, that still didn't fix it. And what ended up being the problem was it was another coil pack. I haven't really figured out which one yet, but there was another coil pack that was bad. Um, so I'd already replaced this one. As you can see, it's, it's different. It's not OEM. Um, and I'm going to just go over how to change your coil pack really quickly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unclip it, push down on it, and then pull out. And then it takes an eight millimeter and obviously you're not gonna wanna use a socket with how much room you're working with. So you just wanna go ahead and get yourself a little eight millimeter wrench here and position it just right. I mean, they don't have to be tight at all. Just loosen it, pull the bolt out here. Pull the bolt out, take the coil pack, kind of twist it a little bit, pull it right up, and there's your coil pack. Now, if you look right down in there, there's the head of your spark plug. The spark plugs on this car take a 5 8 deep well socket, or obviously a 5 8 spark plug socket. Uh, I don't have a spark plug socket, so I just used a deep well 5 8 and I would loosen it. And then once it was completely loose, I would take a pair of needle nose pliers down in there and grab the top of it and pull it out. And when I installed the new one, obviously it's not a spark plug socket, so it doesn't have the little rubber housing to hold the spark plug in place. So you would kind of put it down in there on an angle so you don't drop it down in there and ruin your gapping that you provided to the spark plug, because obviously gapping is very important. Um, and you do want to make sure that they're all gapped properly. So then you would go and you would get your new coil pack and you would put it right back in place exactly how I just took this one out. Um, if you are worried about the car, if this doesn't resolve your issue, there's more like there's plenty of other options that you can look into. Um, obviously, a bad injector can cause misfire. Obviously, if your motor, if you have like head gasket failure or something like that, that can cause misfire. Um, obviously, you know, you want to hope for the best. But, you know, if you're worried about that and you don't want to take your car to the dealership because if it's modified and you're still under warranty, I would suggest to spend the 50 or 60 bucks, buy yourself a little, um, a little scope and scope out your cylinder. If you don't know what you're looking for, you can look up online and see what to look for. You know, you want to look for cylinder damage, um, anything, you know, just something that you would recognize that is going to, you know, cause a failure that's causing the misfire. But in my situation, I already did that. I knew it, the motor wasn't hurt, but I went ahead and did that. And I found nothing, obviously, you know, everything was in good shape. Um, so that's something worth looking at. Um, obviously, replacing all the spark plugs, replacing all the coil packs, making sure you have the proper gap on each spark plug. Um, 
I don't know the proper gap right off the top of my head. There's a gap range that they should be in. It tells you in the manual, that's if you're using OEM spark plugs, if you're using one step quarter plugs, they recommend a different gap. If you're tuned, your tuner will tell you what gap they recommend you run. Um, so those are all steps in the right direction to figure out a misfire before taking it to the dealer and paying, you know, $120 for a diagnostic fee or, you know, or the, the car being, the motor being hurt and then, and then now you're caught, you know, now you're figured out that, hey, this, it's on record, the car's hurt, um, and you're, you're not going to get warrantied. At least if you were to find it out yourself beforehand, if you, you know, had the opportunity, you could possibly take everything off of the car, you know, remove your tune, convert it back to OEM, and then take it to a dealership that you've never been to Poo before, and you would say, hey, you know, I have no idea what's wrong with my car. Like, you know, see what's going on with it. And they're gonna say, hey, you know, your cylinder four is destroyed. And you go, oh, wow, I, you know, I didn't know that. And hopefully they'll warranty it or something along those lines, I don't know. I've heard a lot of stories of people that haven't gotten the warranty, even though the car was converted back to stock, somehow they found out. And I've heard some that they didn't even leave, they didn't even put back to stock and they still got warrantied. So it just depends on who you're dealing with. But these are all steps in the right direction. Um, if you really want to get into it, um, you know, you could definitely, you could definitely take apart, you know, your, you could take out the injectors and replace the injectors if you think that that's what's causing the issue. You know, they're right here behind your intake manifold. Um, there's just, there's a, a rail right there and they're just right in there. I mean, it, it's all pretty simple. Um, but these are steps to begin with to try to diagnose and understand why your car is misfiring. Um, I hope this video is informative to you. I mean, I want to state really quickly that I am not a professional mechanic. Uh, everything that I tell you is not, you know, 100% going to be the resolution to your problem. Possibly, might not be. I hope it is helpful. Also, if you're somebody that's not very savvy with this type of work these are very simple things to do to save you some bucks so i really hope that you check it out and you find it useful and i appreciate it thank you